Hello guys, welcome to Rhino Venue, an informative channel of Assam. In this video, we will get a brief overview about Boro tribe. This video contains a song to understand their customs and traditions. If you need the content of this video, visit our official website rhinovenue.com and please subscribe and support. Now we are going to talk about Boro tribe, but before we begin, let's enjoy. Now let's talk about Boros. The Boro of Assam are Mongoloid origin and reside in the district of Kokrajhar, Sirang, Baksa, Gualpara, Nolbari, Kamrup, Udalguri, a portion of Dorong and in the two hills district. According to the some scholars, the Boro were the first agriculture nomad who have entered this part of the world and introduced irrigation. Besides, it was the Boro who introduced sericulture in Assam. The Boro village is a self-sufficient unit. It is said that India has received the technique of weaving and embroidery from Indo-Mongoloid in Assam. The Boros were decidedly the pioneers in this respect. The domestic animals of the Boros agriculture are principally confirmed to common cattle and pigs. A Boro house is seldom distinguishable from the Assamese houses. The house is usually two roof affair erected on the ground with scanty ventilation. The house is consist of two rooms, a cow shed and a granary. The family rooms are generally placed on the backyard facing the orchards. Agriculture is the main occupation of Boros. The Boro women rear all kind of silkworm. Many Boro people work in the forest as badari which means team of logging labor engaged by the forest contractors. And a few families of northern Dorong work as a tea garden labor to supplement their family income. In Boro Kozari village, the villagers own a common landed property as a granary. At time of distress, the individual families can fall back on the assistance of these common properties. In the 14th century, under the patronage of Boro King Mahamanikya, the great Assamese scholar Madhav Kandrali translated the original Sanskrit Ramayana into Assamese language. Towards the later part of the 18th century, the Boro had fallen so swiftly on the slide of history that for more than a century, the Boro were left in a complete oblivion. In due course of time, the assimilation of the group with the rest of Hassamis population considerably emaciated the size of the Boro population. The Boros have a very powerful language of their own. The Boro language in the course of time spread over a large area right from Sadia in eastern Assam to Tripura. West Bengal and Nepal in the west and passed through very many geographic strains and ramfiled into the different regional dialects. There are still a scattered Boro population in Nepal. As regards costumes, there is wide gap between that used by the Boros, living at the foot of the Vodan hills and the one used by the Boro of other locations. Women of the former group wear only one unseen piece wrapped in more than one fold through the whole length of the body, while the latter wear a mekela encycling the body from the breast line down to little above the hills. 
married woman and another piece of cover body above the waistline. Occasionally they wear black petticoat which they dye with the leaves of either guava or blackberry. The two-piece dress of Riha Mekela worn by Assamese woman is believed to be later form of the original dress of the Borho woman. Marriage by negotiation is generally practiced by the tribe. A Boro youth can be earn a bride by serving in her family. The Boro generally follow exogamy. Sororal polygamy was widely practiced at one time among the tribe. It is not a rarity even at the present time. The Boro are very rich in classical music. Nowadays, the modern music has also become popular among Boros. Their contribution to the music of Assam is very significant. There are also reference to Boro classical music as per excellence in Yuen Sang's accounts of his travels in Kamrupa. The Boro dance Dodini Mochanai gave rise to Deodhani Nitya prevalent in Assam. The dance of Dodini, the oracle-like dancer in the festival of Kherai, means the symbol of Shakti. In the point of rhythm's pause, movement and clarity of appeal, the Boro classical dance have close similarities with the classical dances of northeastern India. Boro musical instruments like Sifang, also called Swifin, which is a flute, Kham is a great drum, Jotha is a cymbal, Serja is a type of violin, and Hontara is a dhotara, which have enriched the music and dance of Boros.